Wow, Liberty, this is such a special day. Psalm 34, 8 says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in Him. We just witnessed an amazing example of that as these kids were baptized because of what God has done in their hearts. What an awesome event in their lives and what a great opportunity for us to gather around them in prayer and encouragement. As we have all seen today what God has done, let's pray for God's presence and continued guidance in their lives and over their lives. Our yearly summer picnic is coming up on September 3rd at 5 p.m. at Fungo Holler Park in Pelham. Bring your bike and a ball and maybe even your drone. We'll have tons of things to do as well as plenty of food, so we can't wait to see you there next Sunday night at 5 p.m. Joseph, also called Barnabas, was a landowner, which in antiquity was to possess an asset that could generate income and keep its owner from having to do manual labor. Acts 4, 36-37 tells us that Barnabas sold a tract of land and placed the money at the apostles' feet. We've all heard about the villainous story of wealthy benefactors that used their monetary support and contributions to control an organization or get special favors, etc. This is nothing new. Benefaction inscriptions from antiquity reveal that big givers often did attach strings to their gifts to ensure recognition and perpetual glory for their generosity. Barnabas showed no such motivation. The way Barnabas presented his gift laying at the apostles' feet tells us it was given without strings attached to it. Certainly the apostles, just like the organizations we contribute to, are required to maintain honesty and integrity to use the funds as God directs. But Barnabas shows us that our money is God's tool for His purposes to be handed back to Him with no strings attached. Jesus even instructed, when you give, do so in secret so your Father will reward you. Just as it is with the rest of the gospel, we must become less so He can become more. In September, Pastor Bruce will be starting an exciting new series on the end times. Have you ever been confused when hearing all the opinions and perspectives on the events coming in the end times spoken about in Scripture? Well, if so, you are not alone. And this new series is hopefully going to help clear up those questions and bring the facts to the forefront. As always, we are looking to God's Word for the answers that we desire. And we should always be excited about Jesus' return and looking forward to all the things that will lead up to that event. So get your questions ready as we begin this new series. This Wednesday is the first of our fall semester of impact classes. Here's a look at one of the three groups that will be available to choose from. My name is Diane Rigdon. I wanna invite you to Unshackled on Wednesday evening starting at 6.30 here at Liberty. Unshackled is an impact class focused on inner healing. It's made by Transformation Ministries and presented by Rock Hobbs. Every week, Rock teaches on a particular subject for inner healing, and then we use the Unshackled Study Guide to help provoke some great discussion. I've been through this class a couple of times, and each time I learned something new about myself. In the spring class, the Lord showed me that I was stuffing a lot of my past and holding on to hurts. Well, see, all of that affected my view of life, myself, others, and God. But as I began working through these things, He healed me and He showed me truths that gave me a fresh hope. I became more aware of my negative thoughts and slowly I began to change the way that I've been thinking since childhood when I gave my life to Christ. Now that I've told you about Unshackled, let me ask you to pray about this class. Ask the Lord if He would have you join in on this amazing opportunity to trust Him like never before. I invite you to reach out to me through the website or church office. I can't wait to see you for Unshackled. So take a look at our website for all the details and join this class on Wednesday night here at Liberty Church at 6.30 p.m. This series on Psalms has been an incredible time that God has used to help us see Him for who He truly is. Great and powerful, gracious and full of kindness, slow to anger and quick to forgive. Our Good Shepherd, our faithful friend, and the God who made the universe and yet knows each of us intimately. God is truly all this and much more. And we have the opportunity to praise His name for all that He is worthy of. As we continue 
let's welcome up our pastor, Bruce Terry. <laughs> 